Okay, so for the plan now, got to sand down the whole entire car before I paint it and stuff. So you can see this paint that I've got on top of here. The guy used a thick paint that has literally shrank and it's formed all these cracks and splits all over. So instead of using a paint remover, which is like an acid thing you put all over the car, that will just be a mess all over. I'm just going to sand down all these cracks where they are so that they flush and then they feather edged into each other so you, you won't tell the cracks and stuff after I paint over it will be smooth so for now all this you can't really pick it up on camera but there's these small bumps you see, see that like air pockets so I'm just gonna scratch all of them off and then after they stop peeling off I'll then sand the edges so it's smooth and then yeah we'll see what happens <laughs> the paint of here, you can't tell it on the camera, I don't think, but it's small small bumps and bubbles and stuff so I need to pop those off see how easy it comes off you live with your finger and you feel a slight ridge line you still gotta go over it a bit more until it's completely eliminated that bump or the line okay so yeah it might look all colorful and bad but if you feel it it's actually smooth and and here as well, you might see this and think, wow, that looks so rough. But in actual fact, you put your hand over it and it's all smooth. All smooth and good. And then other spots which look good, they aren't actually smooth. Yo, dude. Okay, so as you can see, first coat of primer is done. I'm so stoked to finally see the car with one color of paint. I can actually even even like this gray as it is. But anyways, I'm still going to decide the color to 
paint the final color but for now only after I've sprayed the first coat of primer you can see the the real imperfections and cracks and stuff that I couldn't see before and so I don't know if the camera can pick it up but you can see these cracks over there 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 all over and then over here I'm just gonna have to sand all this stuff down as well um, over here you can see some some bumps and ridges that I got to sand down as well so to start off here to do this crack to have it fixed I can't just add um, some, some body filler on top of that or some fiberglass resin because it will be super thin and it will just peel off and crack again so what you got to do beforehand is you got to take a little Dremel tool as you can see here put this on not going on <laughs> hold on Okay, so now that I've got a little bit of a groove inside all these cracks, I can add the fiberglass resin inside there. I don't know if I'm going to put actual fiberglass in it. I don't think I need to. I just want the strong glue. Then after that, I'll put a thin coat of skim body filler or skim putty, depending on the type I find. Um, so I'm just going to keep going around a few more cracks and then yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's time to sand it now. Um, I'm just gonna get, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, all the stuff, so I got my orbital sander here, and uh, I got a 240 grit, which is a bit too rough, but it's all I have for now. I would have preferred a 360 grit or something, and, and I know a few of you guys have this similar tool with all these holes here, and you often try line these holes up, and it goes all wrong. The trick is to line up the bottom, the top one, with the bottom one, and then all the others will, will fall into place. So, there we go. Huh? How strong there? rough 60 grit paper and I'm doing that because I need adhesion with the filler on top of the hole afterwards otherwise you can put the the filler on top and then it just peels off so I'm gonna scuff these all up quickly in this area and then after that I'll clean them with the benzene Okay, and as always beforehand, you gotta got to cut your strips, otherwise you're gonna be stuck super delayed and everything drying and going fast, unprepared. Okay, so we're gonna pour the resin in, nice small amount. Hardener, a few drops. Okay, should be good. And I had my, my old brush I used, I just, I put it in um, thinners to just dissolve and get soft again. Now off we go, let's do this. Uh, as usual, you, you have to put a, a bit of the resin in first, like that, like that. Let's grab a strip. 